Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Obviously, one of the more hot topics in the community, really ever since the launch of Warzone 2, and quite frankly, you could even say MW2 as well, is the time to kill the TTK. It's obviously much faster in this game than it was at the end of Warzone 1, where we had undergone essentially two and a half years of TTK experiments. Back at the start of Verdansk and even into Verdansk 84, the TTK in Warzone 1 was still pretty fast, but then it slowed down over time as we saw various weapon adjustments and ultimately saw more health added to the game to really slow things down and make it so that gunfights required a lot more skill. Uh, precision aim was factored a lot more, movement really played into things. You could finesse opponents in various different ways, and it created for a much larger skill gap. Now, we still have some of that skill gap available here in Warzone 2. Mainly, it has to do with awareness, though, rotations, and, uh, you know, twitchy aim. Not so much anything else, though, because obviously the movement is much slowed down, and the TTK is currently pretty fast. And as we've discussed previously, the devs have talked a lot about the time to kill and their thoughts in the various dev calls that I've been a part of. And today I wanted to break down probably why we shouldn't get our hopes up much for major changes to the TTK, at least for the, you know, remaining year of Modern Warfare 2's primary content headed into Call of Duty 2023 this fall. So if you are a frequent viewer here on the channel when it comes to news videos, which if you are, I appreciate you a ton. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, you probably heard me talk about how the devs have previously said uh, that when it comes to the TTK, their idea of the optimal TTK right now is kind of all over the place. Their long range TTK that's uh, going in the game right now, they like for the most part. They feel like most rifles, LMGs, battle rifles, marksman rifles, snipers, their TTKs over longer ranges, we're talking 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 plus meters and beyond, they like the feel of that. However, the close range TTK is something that they've gone back and forth with because in certain cases, it can be very, very fast. If you have an SMG like the Lockman or the Vaznev or even an MP7 or P90, and you string together a couple of headshots, the TTK is absolutely absurd it basically gives the player no chance to react whatsoever and that's not something that the devs love they've said previously you know they want players to have a chance to actively engage in game and have a chance in gunfights not blink and it's over right and then you're in the gulag or you're back in the main menu because just straight up that's no fun regardless of your skill level if you're very good you want a chance to react and sort of prove yourself in a gunfight if you're more of a casual player maybe you're not so great at this game you still want a chance to try and compete in a gunfight before you're absolutely erased right so that super fast close range ttk has been adjusted some already since these conversations were had we've seen you know uh, armor values added to the damage of certain close range weapons and even some long range weapons to sort of slow things down a bit but for the most part still it's very obvious that the long range ttk is all right but not the absolute best and the close range ttk is still very much so a coin flip in a lot of gunfights because it is so fast now some players love this fast ttk some players hate this fast ttk whatever your opinion is awesome i'm glad you have your opinion right but i got to thinking the other day as the devs have had these conversations with us about how they want to change the ttk we really haven't seen many significant updates to it you know for the most part the best weapons on day one of warzone 2 with the exception of maybe the rpk are largely still some of the best weapons in the game now because they have crazy ttks the ral uh the hemlock is obviously a newer gun but still up there the tac 56 the m4 the mp5 the vaznev etc etc here's the thing though in one specific dev call i can't remember if it was for you know season two season two reloaded maybe season three regardless one of our earlier dev calls they specifically said that they don't plan on altering the universal weapon balancing adjustments that they make and essentially what i mean by that is that when we go into you know large updates seasonal updates mid-season updates the ones that include weapon tuning and weapon changes where we see various things buffed and nerfed they are global changes so when they nerf the iso hemlock in warzone and they say reduced long range damage reduced headshot multiplier damage they're doing that for warzone but they're also doing that for modern warfare 2 multiplayer i think one of the best examples where this is you know not a great thing is with the tac v i want to say back at the start of warzone 2 and mw2 the tac v was an absolute beast and they went ahead and they nerfed it very significantly for warzone because it was outmatching everything in the mid range so they went ahead and killed the damage on the tac v 
Well, in multiplayer, it was still killing very fast, but so were plenty of other guns, and it was much harder to use than other guns in multiplayer. But in turn, because they were trying to nerf the TAC V and balance it more with the meta in Warzone, they kind of destroyed it for multiplayer and made it one of the lesser ideal weapons to use. So these universal weapon changes are something that the devs have said they plan on sticking with. They say, we don't want the games to feel too different from one another. We don't want the recoil in Warzone to feel massively different from the recoil in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. We don't want someone to get used to, you know, the TAC-56 in multiplayer, then jump into Warzone 2, and it's a completely different gun. They want the more seamless experience there, which is fine for that vision, but ultimately when it comes down to it, this means that we are very unlikely to see any major TTK changes until we have a separate game like we had with Cold War and Vanguard, where they can adjust things in multiplayer and it's just for multiplayer. And here they can adjust things in Warzone 2 and it doesn't, you know, inadvertently kill something in multiplayer like in the case of the TAC V. And if they were to try and go ahead and adjust the health, let's say, because quite frankly, that's the way the TTK is going to change. It's not going to drastically change by slightly nerfing the headshot damage on this gun or that gun or by adding a minimum armor damage value to this gun or that gun. It's going to change it somewhat, but it's going to be very minor. If we want a significant change to the TTK to match what we had towards the end of Warzone 1, quite frankly, we're going to have to see that extra 50 health added in or whatever, right? But if they do that, that then changes the entire dynamic for all the weapons in Warzone and all the weapons in multiplayer. And if they're doing these simultaneous buffs and nerfs for one weapon in both modes, that's going to create a vast imbalance for each mode respectively, right? So there's a couple of problems all, you know, getting thrown into the mix here and they're just creating one larger problem that basically is stonewalling a major TTK change until the games are no longer connected like they are now. So unless Infinity Ward and Raven do change their minds about having global weapon changes for MW2 multiplayer and Warzone 2, any changes that are made are going to, you know, be with both modes in mind and not just the TTK of Warzone 2 in mind. So we would really have to wait until Call of Duty 2023 and we have that separate game to see if we'd have any major TTK changes in the way of adding new health or anything. So if you're someone who's actively hoping that they slow down the TTK a ton back to where it was in Warzone 1, I've got bad news. It's probably not going to happen because of the philosophy with weapon changes and everything this year. If you're someone who loves the TTK right now and enjoys the fast TTK, you probably got good news because at least for the next couple of seasons, we're not going to see any drastic changes there. Now, I'm sure we're going to see, you know, the slight nerfs to the fastest killing weapons in the game, especially for close range in upcoming updates, maybe even in season three reloaded here. But ultimately, it's still going to make the guns usable and effective, and they're going to make sure that they're effective in both modes, right? Multiplayer and Warzone 2 alike, so that we can have the more open and more diverse meta. So sort of a, uh, a broad overview of what exactly the game plan into tuning and adjusting things like that could be right now, based off the information the devs have talked about previously. All that being said, that is going to wrap things up for this one. If you guys enjoyed, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you guys are new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button to always guarantee you are up to date with absolutely everything going on between Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.